I'm going to show you how to use UDID Faker on 4.0 because as you all know it crashes so let's open it scroll through it freezes and it will crash let's see but you could still fake on 1.0.1 UDID Faker you'll need to go to Google and just search UDID Faker iOS 4 hit I'm feeling lucky takes you to the first website and it'll bring you to XLIs and everything you'll need is right here and I'm pretty sure it's the same for Windows and um, Macs but I'm doing it on Windows and all the links you'll need is right here the list at property list editor and um, a zipped file of a plist that you'll need so it's pretty easy to do it so you'll need to SSH into your phone and to find the application you want to fake go to private VAR mobile applications and then this part I haven't figured out yet but these are your applications and I'll just click on this one and this is the FML app they all, they'll all have something like this so click on it the FML app or whatever you want find the info property list copy it see if I can do my desktop copy alright and here it is Hold on, let me move this. You'll also need the plist editor from the XLI, XLI's website, and this Com Riley, which I'll show you, is right here. Just download it. You have to sign up, but it takes like 10 seconds. So you're going to go to the Com Riley one, open for Mac or PC, and this is it. See? Let me extract it just to show you guys. So we can move this out of the way. So open your plist editor. Open the Com Riley that we barely extracted. Open it. And this is it. See? It's already pre made. You don't have to do much. And then we'll open another one to view our. Um, our info from the app we wanted. So we'll open the info plist on a different one. And here we go, okay? So right here where it says key com dot apple dot bundle, we'll go to our info plist and look for the com right here, the string. Com in our and normego.fml and all you want to do is copy this replace this paste it there we go and then right here where it says string changes for valid you create a um uh, any UDID that has 40 numbers or letters or a combination so Um, I might have lost count, but see, and that's all you would do right here. So for my FML app, this is how you would um, fake the UDID, and you just go to File, Save. We could exit the other one. We could exit this one. Save changes, yes. All right. And our camera, let's open it just to view it again. Make sure it saves. Come on, open. Yes, it saved. So you don't need anything else anymore. You're done with the faking part now. You just need to get it back into your phone. So you're going to go back into your 
as wrong thing your phone and go up to I'll just take you back to the root private VAR mobile this time you're going to library and preferences and you grab your your com dot Riley um, property list and you just drag it in here I'm not gonna drag it because I already have mine in there but that's all you need and see mine's right here mine's already being fake and yeah it's, it's that simple it'll ask you to replace it just hit yes and then your phone should be spoofed your phone or your device and the application should be spoofed and if you want to do multiple um multiple applications it's pretty much the same Ooh, property you will just need to copy this and do it twice or as many times I'll show you on the XLI's webpage they did one that had like three I think let me see where we're See, it's the same. You just need to do the key and string for all the applications you want to do. And that's how you'll fake the UDID of your apps. So, if this help you, comment, rate, subscribe if you want. And yes, thank you for watching.